in the here in Pittsburgh, I'm sure you've heard of this place. It was called the Irene Kaufman Settlement. Have you heard of it? I can't begin to tell you how important that community center was uh, for the people living in the Hill District. From them, both my brother and I became Americanized, really, through what we could do there. We were very lucky being able to have those uh, 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 that community center there because we had, uh, well, I took dancing lessons there, I took sewing classes there, and they had uh, uh, drama theater there, uh, took care of everything like that. Uh, you know, we, we were, uh, we were able to really uh, get an idea of so much that most, I think, most of the poor kids in the Hill District couldn't. So that community center was something I will never forget. And uh, the um, and to this day, I I, I thank them for what they gave to me and my brother. And so, um, fortunately, um, uh, my parents were very willing. They didn't say, you're a girl, you're going to get married, you're going to have children, why do you need to go to college? No, never heard that, never heard that. So uh, they were helpful that way to us. but to help us decide what to take in college and things like that. We pretty much had to do a lot of that on our own, my brother and I, and fortunately, we had good friends, people who did help. Of course, we couldn't do it completely on our own. We certainly had teachers who were helpful to us, too. And I wanted to go to a girls' school now, I, we didn't talk to our family about which college we were going to, but uh, I don't, I just had decided to, uh, to go to this girls' school. Why? I got a very, very nice letter from the president of the girls' school. I think it's today Chatham College, but I am not sure about that. So I, but it was a girls' university, and I felt very honored that they had sent me that letter. And uh, they asked me to come and visit them, which I did because I could get there by bus. I knew exactly how to go. And uh, the, and they had chemistry, too, so I thought, ah, oh, this is where I want to go. So I did enter my application there. And then they found out something about me that they didn't know. When I filled out the application, there was a, 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 a question concerning religion and they found out I was Jewish. So I got another nice letter from them telling me we are very sorry, but our quota for Jewish students has been filled. We cannot accept you now. Oh, and all of this never told our, I never told my parents about this. Never, never, never. But uh, I went uh, looking for uh, something in uh, uh, technical library work. And uh, I must have gotten to a Westinghouse somehow because I did get a call from them telling me that they are interested in uh, uh, putting together a very good technical library. Uh, could and they wanted to know if I could come and talk to them, which is what I did. And that's how I met 
uh, doctor, uh, 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 she came, uh, Yolan Fertig, she came to uh, this country from uh, Hungary with a PhD in chemistry already. And her husband, who was an engineer, he got work right away. She, they, she just couldn't until they called her from Westinghouse Research to ask whether she would be willing to try to put together a very good technical library. And she said yes. And it is she, Dr. Fertig, who hired me for my first and only library, <laughs> technical library job. She was very, very smart, yes. And she was doing a very good job. That library was, uh, had a very good reputation throughout the laboratories, yes. So I really felt uh, honored, really, that she had hired me. I think what was very um, uh, important for both me and my brother is that I think in most um, uh, conservative Jewish families, the idea of learning was always very important. And what was very interesting is I didn't learn, of course, until it was all, we were all here. The word, I think the first English word my mother got to know was the word learn. <laughs> because the Jewish word to learn is learn. Learn. <laughs> we heard that word a lot. <laughs> so uh, the, the idea of going to school and learning was number one for the both of us as children. And uh, that was very lucky for us because um, it, it made us feel, both me and my brother, that what we were doing was so very important.